you know, we just talked about intentionality, Pastor Rick, and uh, we just got done with the transition, and there was a lot of intentionality leading into the transition. We would give all these little updates and times where you and I got together and shared, and uh, so it would feel funny to not have updates after the transition, and so I think it's good to be intentional about that as well. So we just want to take a few minutes to just kind of give you an update. We've had four weeks. Uh, now we're on the other side of the transition, so I thought it'd be good for church to hear our hearts a little bit about how we feel now that we're past the transition for four weeks. So four weeks into your new season and my new season, how's it been for you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It just suddenly struck me. Maybe somebody's new here and they're going, I don't even know what you're talking, what about, talking transition. about. Transition. Yeah, yeah. So I was lead pastor here until about a month ago and passed the baton of leadership to Chad. So, so how am I doing with the transition? I, I, I'm not real sure. I think it's kind of too soon to tell. You know, we've been really focused on clarifying our mission and our vision and our values and, you know, our strategy to make disciples and what the profile of a disciple is. And so the first week after the transition, we did a whole lot more work on that. And so it kind of felt like the same. And then Marianne and I were gone a couple of weeks and we spent a week in North Carolina um, on our uh, vacation and we celebrated our 36th wedding anniversary. So that was kind of fun. Yeah, that was great. Um, so anyway, we're, we're still trying to figure out what, what my new job is. My job is uh, the title, I got to get a bit of four by six business card, I think, <laughs> because my title is like founding pastor Flash. and pastor of missional living and leadership development and whatever else, you know, so. Guru uh, of following Jesus. Guru of following Jesus, whatever. yes. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's, it's still kind of new, but I'm enjoying this new season, and, uh, and I think we have a wonderful lead pastor pastor. We're experiencing great leadership. So yeah, Chad Allen rocks. So how is it for you? You know, I've been enjoying it too. It's been one of those things that, uh, you know, I came home the other night from late meetings and stuff and Rika's like, well, how was your day? I'm like, good, just running a church. You know, it's like, that's, that's a big, wonderful responsibility. And so a lot of people who've been asking me, how, how, how's it been going? I basically say, it's like drinking from a fire hydrant. The water tastes great, but man, it comes fast. You know, so, um, so, so the increased responsibility, some of the things that you shielded from me, and now that I, I bear that full thing, it's, it's like that welcome pressure. It's welcomed pressure. And so it's, it's brought joy in doing that. We just, we just have a great team. It's easy, Rick. We have, we have a great team. We've got a great church. And so sometimes I just feel beyond blessed that I get to work with the people I get to work with. So four weeks after, I'm, 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 I feel blessed. That's good. Uh, some people are early adopters to change. They go, hey, you know what? Let's... I know we just painted our living room three weeks ago, but let's change the color again. Let's move the couch over here. I mean, some people just love to change. You know, when it comes to this change, they go, hey, Rick Duncan, out. Chad Allen, in. We don't care. Let's go for it. It's great. In fact, Chad Allen, out. New guy in. Let's do another change. So some people are early adopters. Some people, of course, are just real resistant to change. You know, they just don't like it. And, of course, most of us are somewhere in the middle. We knew when we did a transition we would have some people that would feel uncomfortable with it. And for whatever reason, they would say, you know what? This doesn't feel like the church that I wanted to be a part of. And so I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of out. We expect that to happen because people just handle change differently. Yeah, I think, you know, whenever there's big change, um, it's a season for people to evaluate their life. And they go, okay, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I where I want to be? And I think for the most part, the feedback for most of our church has been, well, it really hasn't felt that dramatic of a change anyways. You know, they're both bald. They're both handsome. They're both, you know, it's, it's, they both talk loud, you know. Just, so it hasn't felt dramatic. And I think for the most part, uh, most people um, are all bought in. <laughs> you guys are laughing back there. <laughs> Yeah, you see our baldness. I know. It's all right. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I don't think it's been that dramatic. But then um, other people, it's like, you know what? This is an opportunity for us to try something new or do something different or have felt God's calling to do something different in the light of that transition. And, and for some people, that, that was even some people on our staff. And so, you know, we've lost a few staff people. And they're good, godly people that felt like the Lord was using this season for something new in their life. And so it kind of it's sad to see them go. But then it just takes me back to going, we just trust a sovereign God. And um, I'm excited about the new things that he's bringing. We've still got new people coming to Christ, got new people coming to church. And now there's an opportunity for us to hire some new, new members of the team. And so we're seeking the Lord for that. And so a lot of this kind of post-transition time has felt a lot like flying. Uh, anyone out there flying on an airplane? Yeah, flying on an airplane. Well, a lot of us have done that. And, and inevitably on a flight, um, you're going to start experiencing some little bumps in the air called what? 
turbulence, right? And so you start bumping around, and there's people like me, like, turbulence, I don't care, you know, I'm just going to go to sleep or whatever, I think you're like that too. Um, and then, then there's people like my wife, Rika, who's like clutching the arm thing, and it's like, we're going to die, and she envisions like the plane of flames going down, and the door opens, and people are getting sucked out, and we're just waiting for the mask to drop, and, and, um, and it's like, we're just, <laughs> we're just different. But there's something comforting when all of a sudden we hear, ding, hello, this is your captain speaking, I just want you to know we're experiencing some turbulence. You're like, no, duh. Um, but it's just comforting to say that. So, you know, yeah, we've had some people that have decided this is a season of change for them. But for me, that feels like a little bit of turbulence. This is a moment for us to kind of say, ding, you know, we have a little bit of turbulence. But what I'm excited about is the plane keeps flying. And you hit, you hit a, a pocket of smooth air. And whenever you get to the other side, you're excited about the destination. So even though there's, some, there's a little bit of bumping around, I, like, I know God's got a glorious destination for us. I'm excited to see what that's going to be. And I'm excited for the flight. So yeah. someone asked me last service, what's the in-flight movie? <laughs> <laughs> the messages? I don't know. So anyways. You know, as I said before, we're, we've, we've had in the past clarity on our mission and vision and values and where we're going in terms of our focus on making disciples. Uh, but I think we're getting even more clarity than we've ever had before on all of those issues as we wrestle with this as a leadership team, as elders, as a congregation. Had an important meeting yesterday with some of the leaders where we're learning some more things about you know, where we're going, our destination, that type of thing. As we get more clarity on all of that, I believe that we are in for a season of even greater fruitful, fruitfulness as a church congregation. One of my prayers has been, Lord, may this next season of ministry be even more fruitful than the previous seasons of ministry. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe that that's going to happen. You know, it says in John chapter 15 uh, that we are the branches, that Jesus is the vine. Uh, he says, every branch in me that bears fruit, he prunes it that it may bear more fruit. So we may be, we don't know what God's doing, but we may be in a season of pruning. Most of the time we think about that passage as individuals. That's certainly true as individuals, but it's also true for organizations. It's true for churches. So we may be in a season of pruning, but why does the vine dresser prune? He prunes so that we can bear more fruit. I don't want to miss this next season of ministry in the life of our church because I think it's going to be incredible. This next three to five year run, you just don't want to miss it. It's, it's, it's going to be awesome as we see what God does. And sometimes when people come and they're like going, I'm not sure about the change, you know, what about this, what about that? And I'm going, hey, just give the transition a year or two before you decide about how the transition went. You know, let's all roll up our sleeves and see. And I believe a year or two from now, we'll all be saying, wow, what a ride. I'm glad I didn't miss it because I think it's truly going to be a historic time mm -hmm. in the life of the church. So I'm glad for you being senior leader. All right, we're going to wrap things up. Let's pray. So let's, uh, let's all stand. Father in heaven, I want to give you thanks for, uh, for our new leader, for Chad. Lord, I thank you that you have brought him here as a uh, missionary, cleverly disguised as a Californian <laughs> to help us in Northeast Ohio uh, reach people for Christ. Lord, I pray a blessing on Chad's life and on Rika's life and on their family, Lord. Protect them from the enemy. Give them vision and passion and all good things from you. And Father, I do pray that we would bear more fruit for your glory. Thank you, Father, for the team that you have put together here. Lord, use us in great ways, not only here in Northeast Ohio, but all around the world as we live on mission for you. So send us out, Lord, living wisely and soberly and intentionally and dependently and powerfully on you. Mm -hmm. Help us to live in all those ways, Lord, to reach people that don't yet know you. In Jesus' name mm -hmm. we pray. God's amen. people said amen. amen. Thanks for being here. God bless. We'll see you.